Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your day. Business reporter Madeline Bersma joins me on the Live Desk today for what hopes to be a pretty exciting talk back. We're going to be just discussing some of the stories that Madeline has been working on for the past month, specifically on the new businesses that have opened up across West Michigan. Madeline, thank you so much for being here. Uh, the first place we want to talk about is actually having their grand opening relatively soon. It is Russo's Pizzeria Bar and Grill. It's opening up in Gun Lake. Gun Lake, excuse me. Very excited to hear just a little bit more about that and really your experience talking with the two brothers who own it. Sure, yeah, yeah, so Russo's is opening up this week uh, over by Gun Lake. Um, it's opening up by two brothers who currently own two different Russo's locations across West Michigan. Um, and they said that they wanted to expand the business as they wanted to expand some young kids and wanted their kids to uh, see the restaurant business. The two of them actually grew up in the restaurant business because their dad opened up Russo's uh, first in 1967 on Bridge Street. Yeah. So they're continuing that. And how cool was it seeing or getting the chance to really talk to them, seeing the new spot in Gun Lake, and just hearing from them? Obviously, as you mentioned, they grew up sort of in the business with their father, and now they're kind of just continuing that love. Yeah, oh, it was so great to be able to see that location. I still went to get some photos. And actually, it used to have Daisy Mays, if you're familiar with the Gun Lake location. Um, and they ex expanded it, added 830 square feet. Um, so now it's brighter, it's warmer. They said it's going to be a very family orientated restaurant. Mm -hmm. And kind of uh, switching over now, Madeline, uh, over to another story that you did down in Holland. You looked at Tommy's Car Wash, and your story really focused on just the massive amounts of car washes in the Holland area, courtesy of Tommy's, and really how they're kind of testing out uh, the city of Holland as uh, the testing place for their entire company, really. Yeah, yeah, so I spoke with their president at the ribbon cutting ceremony for their new headquarters. Um, and there's currently four car, Tommy's car, uh, quality car washes in Holland. There's two more on the way, there's one more planned for the Zealand area. Um, and he explained how they're testing the density po uh, potential in mm -hmm. that area. Um, he said that their goal is to make Tommy's kind of like the McDonald's or the Chick-fil-A of car washing. Right. And how cool was it seeing that massive 30,000 square foot car wash that they just opened? Oh, it was beautiful. Well, it's, so it's a, their headquarters, and it's yeah. a beautiful mm -hmm. space. Um, they took some of the design elements of their car washes and kind of just scaled it up. So it's got those um, pretty, like, well-known red arches. Um, there's, uh, in their, like, cafeteria, they have this area that kind of feels like you're in a car wash. That was really right. cool to see. <laughs> yeah, no, we're looking at some of the video right now and just seeing how many people are at this grand opening of that headquarters really goes to show just how popular Tommy's really is in the Holland area. And uh, now uh, on to the third one we want to talk about, Madeline, something that I was uh, pretty excited to get the chance to talk about. Um, it appears our videos might be a little out of order here, so I do apologize, but there we go. Gateway Spoon is actually another Holland business that you kind of talked about uh, what do you earlier want? this you month. You know, Gateway there Mission, you it's uh, the new location there up in Holland. I uh, wasn't really familiar with it, but are, it is an incredible good? restaurant that also yeah, happens right. to have a pretty incredible mission in serving the homeless population. Yeah, yeah, so the Gateway Spoon is connected to Gateway Mission. Um, it's set to open up sometime in mid-September. Um, and this is actually not the first business that this uh, homeless shelter is opening up. They also have an auto detailing spot um, in a thrift store and along with an online bookstore. And I talked with their director who said that they're really trying to be good stewards and to work on not depending so much on their donors and to be able to depend more on other businesses. He said that they're, they're super grateful to their donors and they want to make sure to be good stewards by opening up this restaurant. Like <laughs> yeah, and then just, you know, again, I want to hear from your own kind of personal experience, getting the chance to see them and hear are, are about this mission. I mean, that must yeah, have been incredible being able to have the chance to report on something like this. Yeah, oh, it was so lovely. I actually grew up in the Holland area, um, grew up like three minutes from the Gateway Mission, so it was so cool to see um, what they're doing in the mission expansion. Uh, Madeline kind of wrapping up. Now one last one that I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to be checking out. It's the backyard at Kalamazoo. Uh, it really gives everyone of all ages the chance to do something fun. Whether you're going uh, during the day, during the weekend, you know, just at night. There's something just for everybody. Oh yeah. Yeah, so this one was super fun. Um, it's opened up by this couple that has two kids. They're aged three and five. 
Um, and they said that they had a really hard time finding places where they could go where there's fun for the whole family. Mm -hmm. So they opened up the backyard of Kalamazoo. There's cornhole, there's um, ping pong, and then there's also like a thing called a this, the town with a bunch of different like playhouses and play cards, cars that kids can play on. Um, they're also going to have events, live music, and ice rink during the winter. Uh, so they're, they're going to have a lot of fun there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, you got the chance. We're looking at some of the food right now. It looks incredible. Uh, you know, you being down there, what was sort of your favorite aspect? Of it? Was it some of the games, some of the motorized vehicles that people can get a part of, or really just the whole atmosphere itself? Yeah. I mean, the whole thing was lovely. Um, I think the thing I was most excited about was their cra craft cocktails. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, I didn't get a chance to try it, but they all looked delicious. Right, so, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I want to remind everybody that uh, the building up West Michigan tag over on our website, woodtv.com, can be found right now. You'll find all of Madeline's latest pieces as well as you'll be able to keep a closer eye on everything that is coming to West Michigan, whether it's a new business, new opportunity, anything else like that. Madeline, thank you so much for stopping by today. We look forward to having you on next month to look at some of the other new businesses that are opening up across West Michigan. Yeah, for sure. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.